So let's continue looking at our queries, trying to find um, answers to certain questions by selecting the field names from the tables, the database tables. Here we're going to move on to criteria queries. And just like we did before, we need the the tables, the database tables. And here we have students and we have parents and we have all the field names listed here. Okay. Some examples of criteria questions. We have why students live in Faisabad. See how specific that is? Faisabad. Which students are named Kate? Again, that's specific. Who paid PTA fees? This one is not as obvious, but it is specific. They want to know who paid. Who are the primary contacts for students? Again, not, not obvious, but it is specific because I want to know who actually are the primary contacts for students. So all these example um, question examples, you realize have to do with being specific. So if I have a criteria query, the, the question, the query, ask for specific information in the data that would be typed, possibly typed, in the database tables. However, we have to look at where or which of these field names or table headings will have this answer. Which one of them would have what Faisabad? Faisabad is a place and there's a clue here where they live. So that information is given to us from their home address. So I need to have home address for sure because that's going to give me the answer for Faisabad. And I took that from the student's table. Okay, what other information would I need to answer this question? Which students live in Faisabad? Okay, so I need their name and their address, basically. All right, and of course, you need the primary key. Nice. Let's come up with a name. Query name, good. Now, if this is specific, okay, it's, it means I need to specify that detail. So I know Faisabad could be stored in home address. So I'm going to put next to home address criteria, oops, criteria. And I, I'm looking for that data Faisabad. So equal to Faisabad, close bracket, and that's it. Criteria means that it's going to look for that data in the address. All right, next one. Which students are named Kate? You know what? I'm going to change this to, yeah, we can leave it as Kate. Um, so, Kate, no, students named Kate. Okay. Um, which table will have that information? Well, not the parents, the student's table. And how am I going to know Kate? Oh, it should be the first name. I don't think there's any surname called Kate. So I'm going to look at the student's table. And then the field names, I have student number, of course, the PK, primary key, and first name. I don't think I need any more information than that. Maybe the surname. Okay. Which field name has that specific data? Where does that specific data come from? It will come from the first name. So next to first name, I'm going to type criteria equal Kate. All right. Let's go to one that's not so obvious. Who paid PTA fees? Let me bring it a little higher up here. Okay. Who paid PTA fees? Who pays PTA fees? Let's see. Parents pays PTA fees. 
So I'm going to need the parents table. And I'm going to put in PTA fees, no, fee one time. I have to put the exact field name or table heading that already exists in the database table. Okay, what else do I need to know? It says who paid. So obviously I need to know um, the parent. So parent ID for the primary key. I need to know their, their name. So title, first name, surname. All right. Good. Um, maybe I will need whose parents are these? The students that um, who has these parents? So let's put another table: students. And of course, the primary key. Now, I might want to know who the students are. Right, that's, oh, maybe the form. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking at the students table here and trying to figure out which one will give me the answers. Now, you notice there's student number in students, right? And then there's a foreign key, student number in parents. foreign key. Now when you have multiple tables, when you have multiple tables giving you the answer to your query, then you need to use the foreign key and delete or ignore the primary key. So I have the foreign key here, student number in parents. So I can get rid of the student number primary key in students. Always use the foreign key. That way the tables are connected. All right. Now, um, oh, I did not say who paid fee PTA fees. So I need to know who pays it. Now, if you type for PTA fee, it's a currency number. That's a data type. Um, how do I know who paid? Well, it might be easier to ask who didn't pay. If you didn't pay, then you would have zero as a PTA fee. But if you paid, then the PTA fee, of course, is not zero. In fact, it should be more than zero. So I'm going to come next to PTA fee here and I'm going to put in my criteria which is more than zero. Now, just how we have two tables here in our criteria, um, our query, we could also have more than one criteria. Let's say another criteria for another one of the, um, maybe we wanted form one. That could be another criteria. I'm just showing you an example, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Mm, that's the next question. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot to put in a um, query name. Right. Okay. This next one, who are the primary contacts for students? So let's say in the, um, I'm seeing primary contact here in parents, right? So obviously we need parents. And I could put primary contact one time. I know that is giving me an answer. Now, this did say for the student. So we need to know who the student is as well. So I need stuff from that table, the student's table. Okay, so now we have a case again of two tables. And just like before, we need to use the foreign key instead of the primary key. All right, so let's see, we have parent ID as the primary key, that's fine. 
but then the foreign key is here as well as student number okay and then we have the name of the student and we can put the form too right um, we might need to know the parent name that makes it make sense and if it's a contact, well, we might need their contact information. Maybe put email too. Okay. Um, what is the criteria? Well, primary contact was, uh, if we looked back at our design, we'd see the data type was yes or no. It's either yes, you're the primary contact or no, you're not. So, if they are the primary contact, the criteria here would be equal to yes. All right. Now, let's try this out in the database. Let's open up access here and create query design. And I want, let me see which one I want to do. I want to do PTA fees. Let's do PTA fees. I want both tables. Okay. And um, I need, let me check back here. I need the names of the students and the form. And kind of the same for the parents. So let's see. Parent ID, the name of the parent. What else I need? I need PTA fee and student number. Ah, I didn't put in PTA fee as yet. So let's try um let's try primary contact. Okay, go back to the query. Add them both. All right, primary contact. Um, okay, parent ID, title, first name, surname, contact number, email. We could put relationship too, that makes sense, and primary contact. Then I need student number, name, surname. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I put student number? Not this one. Let me delete this one. Cut. And I need student number from parents. I need a foreign key, not the primary key. Right. Next thing. What's the next thing? Um, I have to put in the criteria next to primary contact. So you'll see this rule here, criteria. Click on the primary contact there in the row. So it's fine. Criteria equal yes. Okay, let's see what happens. What do I want to save this as? Oh, I have no um primary contacts for students. Okay. Click save. Good, let's open that and see. Uh-huh, it gives information. You see it have a tick for primary contact. And it does not list the mother. Okay, if you look back at the table, we have the father and the mother, but only the father is the primary contact. And if we go to the query, we will see only the father is listed. So it works. Good. All right, let's go to Libri quickly. Query, design view. Both tables and I need parents information, contact obviously, email, oops wrong one, not this one, email and relationship, primary contact and student number, I need a foreign key and then I come over to students say I need their name, and their form. 
good. Oops, wrong thing. Form. Right, there we go. Okay, criteria now. You'll see I have criteria rule here. I need to go under contact equal yes. Close yes. Ooh. Oh, it's saying there's an error. Let's put some quotes here. Let's see if that works. All right. Let's try a different one. Let's take out the equal sign. Criteria. Let me just check back this table. View. I need design data. Close this. Right click. Edit. Primary contact is yes or no boolean. Um, you know what? Let me try equal equal one. Ah, worked. So for Libre, they don't have yes or no, they have one or zero. Primary contacts for students. Okay, let's go back to that query, see if it works. Yeah, only the father came up. Yay, 